by now, everybody has heard that there will not be a new raid in the House of Wolves DLC. And for the most part, everybody is very disappointed about this fact. And I think that it is a perfectly legitimate position to be really upset and really disappointed that there will not be a raid in the House of Wolves DLC, but still excited and still looking forward to seeing what the Prison of Elders actually is. Now, I think that it's going to be some kind of a horde mode. What exactly Bungie's take on that is, we don't know. Uh, it could be, you know, we could get kind of Nightfall style modifiers that change up weekly to kind of keep the content fresh. You know, Bungie's come out and said that replayability is going to be one of the keys to this. Which Destiny sorely needs. Any kind of content that Bungie can put into Destiny that has more replayability would be a blessing. And even the raids, I find, to get they get pretty old after a while. You know, running Crota's End on hard mode for the 80th time has got my raid group pretty, pretty ready to quit. You know, pretty ready to not be doing Crota's End anymore. And that's one of the things... Uh, that is so disappointing. Our raid group was really looking forward to the House of Wolves raid. We we thought it was coming. You know, it was it was leaked, right? The content was definitely going to come. We know that because of the leaked images. Now, what happened to that raid? We don't know. It may have been delayed. Maybe we'll see it later in the summer. Maybe it's going to get delayed all the way to the comment release. Or maybe Bungie just kind of switched their mind, said, you know what, we're having trouble with the raids. The Vault of Glass clearly gave Bungie some issues. Crota End again did the same exact thing. Maybe they just wanted to take some more time with new raids and it'll come out with the Comet expansion. And this is kind of the, the thing that is going to sati satiate us over the summer prison of elders is really meant to just give us some content to play some replayable content all summer now i don't know what the prison of elders is going to be i don't know if it's going to be something that i want to play all summer but i'm definitely disappointed that it's going to be a, a three-man group activity my six-man raid group is basically going to dissolve and that makes me really sad because this is a group of guys that i had a ton of fun with over the last few months a, a lot of fun and you know let's be honest with you with each other crota's end was not the raid that vault of glass was i enjoy crota's end i think it's a fun raid uh, but especially on hard mode it's just not as interesting to play as the vault of glass there's not as many moving parts People aren't as actively involved. Uh, for the final boss fight, for instance, you basically have one guy running around the map like mad and everybody else is standing on a ledge firing rockets. It's just not the, it's not the group activity that Vault of Glass was. So maybe what we're seeing now is that Bungie saw this. Bungie saw that you know their efforts for Dark Below and for uh, the Crota's End raid were not good enough. They were not, it was not a finished enough raid. And they have decided that, you know what, we need more than three to five months to actually put one of these together in a way that is really going to satisfy our community, which is respectable. In almost every case, I prefer to wait for finished and good content than to get unfinished or broken content when I was expecting it. In almost every case. In this case, though, I feel like Bungie made a real bad uh, a real bad mistake here because, and I've, I've expressed this opinion before, if House of Wolves doesn't knock it out of the park, Bungie stands to lose a significant portion of its community. And the reason for this is a lot of people bought kind of the limited edition version of Destiny when Destiny was released. And with that came both the Dark Below and the House of Wolves expansion. After the Dark Below was disappointing in a lot of people's eyes, people kind of started saying, well, House of Wolves needs to be really good or I'm not going to spend money for that next expansion, that Comet expansion that we're all looking forward to. And that is, that is a real concern for Bungie. I can tell you, honestly, I feel like they know this as well as we do. They know that people are looking at this House of Wolves expansion 
and going to make a decision on their purchases in the future based on how good this was. People spent a lot of money on that limited edition version of the game, and now you know they want that value per dollar. Now, I feel I've definitely gotten value for my dollar with Destiny. I bought you know the extended edition, the, the ghost edition that came with the, the real... Dinklage, the red Dinklage, and you know, all of that stuff. And I've played the snot out of Destiny and I've had a great time. Now, I can complain about Crota's End, but I still had a great time in the normal mode. Hard mode, I feel like it could really use some improvements. Vault of Glass, I think, is one of the best gaming experiences I've ever had in my life. It really is that fantastic. I love playing this game. I think the shooting feels perfect. You know, the, the different. The different ways the Guardians react, you know, the different powers they have is really fun. I love the PvP aspect. I think that's great. I think it's only going to get better as this game goes along, too. The improvements they've made to PvP are fantastic. Uh, and they just keep piling on these improvements. And now we're soon going to get private matches, which is even better. So, I mean, I can't, I can't complain about the value I've gotten. But I can definitely see why people are upset that you know there is no raid in the house of wolves and how that can influence their purchasing decision in the future if bungie's not giving me what i want now why should i give them more money later i've already given them let's say a hundred dollars for the limited edition of this game i've prepaid for the dark below content and for the house of wolves content and i was not satisfied with either so what makes me think what makes bungie think that I'm going to be satisfied when Comet comes out. And they, they expect me to re-up, repay money for more Destiny content. When I was not satisfied with the content that I've already paid for. And I think that's where Bungie's position is. Is they are in a spot where they are now going to start losing players if the Dark Below... Or, I'm sorry, if House of Wolves does not satisfy people. And... I think that is a really bad position to be in, especially when you start the conversation saying there's no raid. The thing you're looking forward to most is not happening. So we don't know. You know, maybe we'll get the House of Wolves raid later in the year. Maybe it just isn't ready. Maybe it's just delayed. They want to get House of Wolves out but it's just not ready right now. So they'll release it maybe in July or August. We'll have to see. You know, I am, I'm not in the know of what Bungie is up to, but I certainly hope they've got a plan that goes past where they're going now. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.